right now I'm at the uh, Ada Foods uh, factory. Yeah. Oh, her oh, chicken. Oh my god, so so big here. Yeah. It's huge. It's yeah. Manhattan. This is Manhattan. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is in Soho. Oh, Soho, Manhattan. It's yeah. So expensive. I know. Okay. <laughs> okay, but we're gonna go show all of the equipment and testing and fabrication that we do here using this awesome 360 camera. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it's really great. You so, so it. now I'm filming in the Insta One X. This is the new model of Insta 360's product, and they're going to release it next month. So when this video come out, probably the um, product will be online. And uh, I lost my selfie pole uh, after Maker Fair, so I'm going to ask them for one more. Now I'm just use uh, ordinary uh, selfie pole, and this one I don't need to connect to, um, you know, uh, use my adapter to connect to my phone to use it. This one you can just push a button and then record it uh, without Wi-Fi connection or uh, Bluetooth connection. Oh, yeah. They are, they're nice. trying to, yeah, they're trying to engrave the apps. The, the apps are not compatible with Android yeah. Android right now, only iOS. So I'm waiting for it. <sighs> okay. okay. We have 22 and 22 minutes. Okay, yeah. so let's start here. Um, this is where we store our stencils. So the stencils are what we use when we um, put solder paste on the PCB. So you you probably see that. And here's for example, um, you know, one stencil and you can see all the holes in it. Um, and so we have one stencil for each design. So if you film here you can see Near Pixel Jewel and the TFT backpack. So each board has its own stencil. And you know, this is a very new one where you sit. This is the Cricut Fit. Wow. So that's cool, right? Yeah. So this is the stencils and they're nice and skinny. And then um, this is where we store heaters of parts that are, are ready to be used tomorrow. So you get everything ready for the next day. Nice, organized. So, um, you know, each one has, this is fuses. And this one is, you know, transistors. So we can have all of the parts here and our most common parts we keep on the same feeder so we don't have to keep switching it in and out so this is a common uh, resistor or common uh, power regulator so these are ready tomorrow cool okay, good okay and then this is um, the fridge for our solder paste we have solder paste and we use lead free so that's in here nice and oh we have this it's meant for coca-cola cans but it also fits your solder face. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's cool. I thought you have something in, like, extra beverage in there. Like, yeah, no, solder no. paste. We have, we have a beverage in there also. We have to keep them separate. Oh, creative. Oh, yeah. oh that's from Fresh Force. This is, uh, mm -hmm. uh, quite working. but we're working on it. This is a prototyping area where we design new things. Actually, it's our old stencil. So we used stencil by hand. So you see these are much smaller, and you would actually by hand do it. Yeah. And um, then we can't give it anymore. In China, I saw them do it. They usually do it by hand, and it's fine, but it, we just, you know, we bought a machine, and then the price was good, and it's more precise, especially when you get the very small parts, um, 0.4 millimeter pitch or BGA. It, you can do it by hand, but we're not that skilled. Maybe in China, they're that skilled. Yeah, they are skilled. Yeah. Not me, though. Not me, though. They're placing them with, like, toothpicks. I don't know how to do it. Uh, so here is, um, there's pretty good at working. We have laser cutters and we have a glow forge. So oh, you're using glow forge? Yeah, we, oh, we just I got see. one. Yeah. Uh, so we're, we're still learning how to use it. Um, we have our old epilogue, which is our classic um, laser cutter. And uh, we use it to um, you know, cut enclosures and cases. So here's wow, really you know, a laser cut piece. And we're building projects here in the levitator. And then uh, we have other 3D printers. This is the one that's being fixed right now. Actually, our sensor had a little problem, and so we've been manually stenciling. So we set this up, and now we're gonna we're about to put it back in the box because we got the machine working. But we don't we had a we didn't want to stop all production just because the stencil machine was down. So we have a backup, a manual, special <laughs> spatula. You just do it by hand, but it's not fun. You know, you have to be perfect at it. Well, what's in this box? Uh, this is the parts that were used to fix the sensor. So we just got it serviced. We have a service contract. When you buy it, you pay for uh, the technician, and they'll come out whenever it breaks, and they break sometimes. <laughs> um, and then this is um, the board loader. So you see all the PCBs? Oh, yeah. There's one here. And um, uh, you can open this. And then what it does is it lifts each part, and it pops it out. So it's nice, it oh, feeds cool. it. And it feed. also do the solder and paste on the same time. And this this one does. This, all this does is really basic. All it does is lift the boards and put them. But you know, that's very handy still. Uh, 
this is the sensor. So this is the machine. So you can see the sensor gets loaded in, mm -hmm. and then you can see these metal blades. Um, they go back and forth. And then there's, it's off because we're sweeping, but there's um, inspection, so it takes photos, mm -hmm. and it checks that the stencil is lined up perfectly, mm -hmm. and also that the paste uh, got put on the PCB, and if there's a mistake, it'll actually stop and say, hey, clean it off and let's run it again. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's quite nice, it's a very nice machine. And then after um, the board goes to the stencil printer, so now it has paste on it. Mm -hmm. um, that was the pick and place. This is our first pick and place. Wow. And this is the Samsung 481. So you can see it has a lot of trays, the uh, base, for feeders. Mm -hmm. And we have some of the feeders, again, some of them have the, um, the, the what part it is uh, pre-written because it's the same. You know, we use this part on every single board. So instead of taking it out every time, we just keep it in here. It makes it really fast for us to change designs. And then you see all these nozzles. You can stick the machine, you know, the 3D. Uh, you can uh, stick your uh, 360 camera inside so you can see it all, all oh. around. Yeah, they can see all around. Because this is neat. You normally don't get to see inside because it's unsafe. But uh, it's off now. And then you see all the inspection and there's cameras and there's nozzles. And then this um, picks up 10 parts at a time. 10 parts? Yes. So you can see there's 10 nozzles. It picks up all 10 at the same time. Oh, so it's very, very, very fast. And because it moving, you know, the X, Y, Z, it takes a long time. How move. much? How many can it produce for day? Like um, they're specified in components per hour. And I think this is 60,000 components per hour. 16,000? Yeah, 60,000. Wow. I think that's the right number. Maybe it's more. Um, and then, yes, this one is good for picking up a lot of parts very fast, and it places them um, at the same time. And then um, we like to go faster with production. So what you do is you just get two pick-and-place machines, and then you this put one them... Will, oh, Samsung. Yeah, this is by Samsung. They use these machines to make the cell phones. So they're actually, these are really good machines. I really like the Samsung. Um, we went to an equipment show, and we tried... Um, all these different machines. You actually got to, to try each machine. And I think this one was for the price, it's I think the best. And it's also good at placing unusual parts. Like it has a really good vision system. The, the camera is really good. Um, so this one, this is the first one we got. This one you can see only has six nozzles. See how it has like six nozzles there. Um, and it can pick up larger parts a little easier because the nozzles are farther apart. So there's fewer, but there, there's more space between them. And also this one has a bottom camera, so over there you can kind of see the rectangle. Mm -hmm. That's the um, bottom camera, so it's really good at big parts where you have to um, look from the bottom because it can see from the bottom as well as from the top. Like this one has a camera from the top. This is the top view. Oh, it looks and like a, how to say, Mo microscope. It is basically a microscope camera. It's a very precision camera, but then there's another camera that can look from the bottom, so you can see parts from both sides. Mm -hmm. And also, there's tray, so you can mm -hmm. see in the back there's a tray holder for chips. So this one has a tray holder that we made for it as well. So this one you can see just slightly bigger parts, not resistors, capacitors. It does maybe, you know, a larger connector. Hmm. And then you can see the pickup tape. So this has a piece of tape on top of it, mm -hmm. so that when it can, it, the nozzle picks it up. It can, it has a vacuum to pick it up. Otherwise, the holes, it doesn't, it can't pick it up very easily. Okay, so this is um, the pickup. And so then after they're done, all the parts are placed. And this is the uh, inspection station. And this is where we can look at the board. So we look and see that they look correct. All the parts are correct. Um, we look at the chip that is oriented because a lot of the picking places they don't do that for you. Yeah. They'll if you put the tray in backwards, they're backwards. You know? oh, they're very fast, but um, oh, you know what? In China, yeah. at first they uh, go for all the examination by like, like they have an employee go here, there, here. So yeah. each step they watched it. Yeah. So they only go for when this step happened. They started to look in inspected. Inspect yeah, inspection. So we do it for the first run, and then once in a while we do it, we have a, a bell if there's an inspection problem. So we, we were given this as a gift from one of our vendors, and we're like, this is awesome, so we make the bell. Oh, oh. Everyone 
everyone knows. Um, and then it's in the oven. So after it gets an inspection and it's good, it's in the oven. And it heats up the board slowly until it gets to here and then it's melted. It's oh, dusty. Yeah, we have to like dust our uh, equipment. But um, this one's nice because it actually came in half. So it came in two pieces. Mm -hmm. And each piece can go in the elevator because it's one that, you know, we're on the top floor and we didn't want to open up the window. That's why they have to break a window and bring the machine in and it's um, like really expensive and complicated. There's a crane and like they have to shut down the street. But this um, oven maker cut it in half for us. So wow. they, 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 they do it in half. So it's custom made. It's not, it's not custom, custom, but it's one of the few companies that will do that. They'll sell it to you in two pieces. And that's for uh, a clean environment for the slip and solder. We have the compressor, which are a little loud, so you can hear the noise. That's making the compressed air. And then there's Ohio down. That's good. Now he's here. So Michelle's running the slip and solder, and it's running right now. Check it out. So oh, I can, can see, see it from there. See from there. Yeah, it's, um, right now I think it's just doing an inspection run. It's fluxing. Okay, so it's spraying um, flux on it, and then you see those two silver bubbles. In about a minute, it will go through and it will actually solder all of the components. So this is for the through-hole parts. Uh, instead of soldering them by hand, we have this. Okay, so ready, 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 ready. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, and then on the screen, so you can see it's soldering all the components. And then comes out like this perfectly. Well, yeah. almost perfect. Yeah, we and then we. This is all done for us, and we don't have to solder by hand. Which I'll rather hang oh, out. Really neat. Yeah, <laughs> it's nice. This is a good machine. These are made in California, but they're they're pretty popular. And then yeah, inside there's just a, a gigantic uh, melted ball of solder, like a gigantic mm -hmm. solder pot. Um, this is really great for when you don't want to solder by hand. And then, where's the solder sticks? Do you have any? Yeah, they're, they're, they're kind of. They're kind of. They're cool looking. They're kind of. 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 they are Uh, we have to clean up the nozzles often. Is that a cotton machine? Like you made a cotton candy machine? I don't know what that is. Looks like cotton yeah, candy that, machine. That, that's Noah's. Is that cotton candy machine? Yes. Uh, last time he was in charge of snack. He just never brought it home. I should make some salt. And then from here you can see a good view of it as well. This is pretty cool. The drawstring is really large. Mm. Yeah, it's very it's very precise. There's, yeah, there's one. This is for holding the boards, mm -hmm. and then the X Y is actually below. And there's two nozzles. One's big and one's small. So sometimes it does need a big uh, solder. So it floods from below. Yes. So the the um, the silver thing closer to us and the fluxer, and now it's off because it's, it's you know, the fluxing. Because you saw the bar solder, it's just solid. There's no solder, and there's no flux in the center. So you have to do it in two steps. And also, there's nitrogen. That nitrogen generator, the nitrogen comes out here, and it's it's in the air we breathe. But if we get uh, pure nitrogen around the solder, it um, it makes for cleaner. Like you saw, it's very shiny and clean uh, solder joint. So that's really nice too. So it's worth it to do. Okay, and then we have um, storage. Shop. after they've been um, assembled. These are uh, Bluetooth and these are QC Pass. Oh, so you don't, you just 
store it in a box. You don't just pack pack it right away. No, it? we don't because we make um, many months worth of product. Because to set up the pick in place mm -hmm. takes a lot of effort. You have to put all the wheels in. You have to get everything ready to go in the stenciler. So we don't want to run all the time. Like we don't want to have. Um, if we're going to set it up, we have to do a big run to make it worth it for the amount of setup that you do. And we can do the setup really fast. Like if you send to an outside factory, usually it can take weeks to get scheduled because everyone, it, you know, they have to do so many jobs. Well, here we have a lot of flexibility because we're only doing our own work. So if we need to make more of these in a rush, we can do it. But once we set up to make it, we'll make a whole bunch. And then, you know, we have a lot of open work orders. We may not make, we may not package the this unless we really need them in the store. We'll just do them when we can. I mean, it, it's just a trade off of how much time we have to um, run each machine and then how many people we've got doing what. We have, so, when you put it in a box, if it's carrots, will some of them fall apart? What do you think? No, it's, it's, it's solid. I mean, like, they, they're, they're tested and the solder is really strong. So, it's okay. I mean, I wouldn't put it in a gigantic bin, but this is fine. I mean, we, they're not that heavy and they don't. I wouldn't like shake them, but um, mm. they're okay shake, as shake, is. Shake. Yeah, we need to put them back in, and then um, people test them. So this is like you know, before you saw. You know, they they finished. All this the is your new product. Why I saw it. Yeah, this is the cricket. So this is um, a robotics board. So you can see there's pick and place on the top, mm -hmm. and then selective solder on the bottom. And then yeah, this lets you do robotics with um, a feather or a micro bit, and we're doing one for a raspberry pi soon. Sometimes uh, we have double-sided boards, so this is picking place on one side and then other parts are picking placed. That's, that's all good. Um, we have all our screens and OLEDs. <laughs> oh, this, so this is all oh, sell by who? By your employee? Yeah, so we'll get like all the different components. This is a pack that comes with all these different parts and like this is I think a specialty I think this is the Microsoft kit. so like for example like Microsoft contacted us and they said we want a pack for a workshop can you take all these and put it in a box so we can give one to each person and so we'll do that for them and then yeah, they'll give us the list of what they want awesome. and you have weighed it yeah for QA we weigh them because it's a good way to quickly tell if something was forgotten because the items are kind of heavy um, okay now over here <laughs> We're working um, on some uh, code for the Feather M4. These are all my things where I store my personal. Oh, like, did, is it? Did you key yesterday? They were at Maker Fair. Yeah, so I, I used to keep boxes. So, you know, I have like uh, you know bins of every thing. Like I've got my MTK Linux modules and my Google Dome kit, character on CD. So all the samples I get, all the things that I find. I've got some really ancient OpenBSD stickers mm -hmm. from like 1983 or something. 1983. Yeah, no, no, really old. Uh, and then, um, it's all the all the parts, and you know, I get like samples, and then I test the samples, and then I keep them. So, motor, um, very step or mug. I never got this in the store, but I got a sample, and I'll try it. And um, such so that. I think this label cameras, but is that the small uh, camera? No, these are PDF cameras. These are TTL cameras. These are like microcontroller cameras. So you know. Oh, and the yeah. board cameras and, oh, and I saw the Halloween giggly ice. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's probably. I'll give you a Halloween. We have we have extras. Yeah, you know, this weird camera. So I get samples, and sometimes it takes years until I actually you know use it. But it's here if I need it. Um, so this one you don't ship to anybody. Just use. No, the, this is for me. This is my you know playing around and, and building and, and trying things. So, uh, for a month years. tutorial so that I could learn from it. Yeah, I just have to, you know, come up with all the stuff. So, and, um, but yeah, we use this for projects like, you know, I have speakers. I don't know speakers are. Uh, and then this is, um, we have a bunch of like just 3D printed parts that we've made and we just have all the samples here. So, you know, if we want to show them off, if we want to show them off, and this is, you know, an old uh, Game Boy that we made. Uh, so, you got like one of each. Oh. Um, so I got all of our projects here, so we can show them all. People are like, "What do you do?" And we've got um, some old uh, Stupid Gates Radio Shack. We post them on Twitter, and people thought we bought Radio Shack. Um, okay, and this is um, you're the show. So now you're you can pretend like you're doing our shows. This is it. Hello. Hey, I'm on the engineering. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is what we do tomorrow, and um, I guess it's a cool package.
today. Badge here and we got a phone. So we do, you know, we have all of our setup here with our microphones and our, our cameras and our stream deck. Um, I sit here and we got samples, we got the phone. So this is kind of where the magic happens for the shows. And then we're going to here are the puppets. This is our puppets and um, we're actually just about finishing another video. This is an Adabot, you know, these are my Elm of Electronics and Minerva and she's this wise owl. And, um, what is Sparky the Blue Smoke Monster? What, what's his name again? This is Sparky. Oh my god, my dog is his name. Is, uh, my stuff animal is also called Sparky. Oh, great. I will eat your electronics. Okay, so whenever, with all of them. Whenever no. your electronics uh, catch on fire. Oh, yeah. And those in the bad ones. They're not in the good cool ones. Music ambassador. So, yeah, this is our little character. It's to make it kind of fun. It's like if you make a mistake, maybe it's fun instead of scary. Um, so we got that puppet, and then we got, you know, the 555 timer and the capacitor. So all these puppets, since we do puppet shows um, on YouTube. Okay, so this is our tester area. So we're talking about all the testers. So here's, like, we have some testers that are, like, pretty complicated. So this is one that uses a Raspberry Pi and a screen and a J-Link to program um, a chip. And it's a lot better than having a computer do it because it's way the computer can't have viruses because it's a, a Raspberry Pi, so you have this lift and then you put the board down and then you close it. So I like um, these testers that we have. Um, some simple ones, so like some testers are so small they don't even, there's no clamp, because you just put the board down and it tests in two seconds. So you can beep and it lights up the green LED and then it's just built on an Arduino compatible and it just makes it really easy to test boards um, really, really fast. Because we test everything, everything gets tested here. Um, this is where we make our testers. So this is the tester making part. So this tester needs to be maybe remade. Um, and then we have um, just a bunch of boards and like, you know, we recycle them. So after maybe this product, um, we made a different tester or we canceled this product so we can remake it. And so yeah, you said you see we have some nice testers up there. Um, we get them, it's, you know, we don't always use them because they're, um, they're really heavy. <laughs> And they're um, strong, but sometimes um, we don't need something that big. But we still have a couple of the big style testers in case we need them. And then we're back to the pencils. So that was the whole loop. And then you can come over here and you can see um, this is my workbench where I do soldering. And so I'm, I'm putting together some stuff. And then this is my desk where I do um, programming and stuff. So well, your desk is, everybody get like, a shelf, but you don't have a shelf. No, I, don't one. I mean, I put stuff on the floor, but I'm, I'm slowly getting through everything. So I'm testing, you know, I have a new prototype, and then I'll put it together, and then we'll test it. So I'll, I'll do that here. Mm. All right, and then this is Phil's desk. Hi. We're hanging out. Yeah. Oh man. Man. So this now is, you're gonna sign oh, all of this, you and you have to sign this. this. And then uh, you have the electric pen. Yeah. Oh, that's pen. the one I use. Yeah. It's, it's a silver pen. We have one for you. Yeah, no, that's good. You're right. <laughs> I'm gonna frame this. Yeah, yeah that's it. I can't think of anything. Okay. Now Okay. And then this one's yours. Okay. And then, worse. This one's then you can also yeah. swap with you. You hold this. Yeah. And then I'm like. Part of the floor down oh, there, yeah. so you get the cut of things. And then when we're all finished, I'll get a photo of both of you over there with your magazines. This is so awesome, man. Finally, I got one of the, oh, there you go. the couple of them. Oh, okay. thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that worked out. So happy. All right. Oh, and this the pen. This pen, and then I got your SD card. So that? Okay, cool. So that was the tour of Adafruit. That was. A whirlwind tour, but you guys have to see everything here, and uh, we're doing a but lot. This is the main floor that uh, the, all the working, the production lines here. This is the production, and then we also have another floor where we do the shipping and storage, uh, which is exciting, but it's not as exciting. So I thought we would show, because your viewers tend to be about making electronics. So maybe next time you visit, we'll do the other floor, which is the shipping. Oh, awesome. Okay. I, I don't know when I will come back, but oh, definitely if I come back, I will. Oh, maybe man. next year. Maybe next year. Okay, bye. bye.